Hi everyone, it's Noah here. Welcome back to the Hawthorne Arts Channel. Since Nathan can no longer comment on the 2021 exams, I have decided to take over and give you the information you need during this hard time. So let's talk about what's happened these last few weeks. So we know the 2021 exams were announced as cancelled with teacher assessments similar to the CAGs or Centre Assessed Grades of last year taking their place. But the question is, are the exams really completely gone? You see, Ofcourse announced its proposals for what should replace the standard GCSE and A-level exams and they're currently just finishing up the consultation. You can see the official document down in the description of this video but I'll just give you the quick summary of what exactly they're proposing. 1. Students should continue with their education during this academic year. Well, this is already happening. All of us, myself included, are still going to our online lessons. We're all still studying and learning the content for this year and for the future. After all, we need the knowledge and skills for our future courses and careers, right? This won't change. Two. They have proposed that students would be assessed by their teachers in a period beginning in May into early June. Now, this is where things get a bit tricky. This process of assessing could include not only homework, classwork and coursework, but actually externally created exams issued by exam boards to help the co with consistency. In other words, external exams. This is where the question comes in. Are we therefore still going to have exams? and this is what's yet to be seen. Three, teachers would submit grades to the exam board by mid-June. So somewhere in June is the cutoff date. That gives us all, teachers and students alike, a good four to five months to get ourselves sorted out and ready with all the evidence we need to get our grades. Hopefully, there's enough opportunity there for it to work out. Four, External quality assurance by the exam boards would be ongoing throughout June. So there's going to be quality assurance of some kind. The exam boards will make sure that everything's consistent and everyone is marking properly. Hopefully this proves to be unproblematic and everything is nice and fair. 5. Results would be issued to students once the quality assurance process is complete. Most likely in early July. This is pretty big. Exam results normally come out in August. To have them come out in July, that gives us a lot of breathing room, especially us year 13s. I'll now have a bit more time to think about and make decisions regarding what I'm going to do next year. Whether I'll go to university or do an apprenticeship, or work or even resit a year. 6. Student appeals could be submitted immediately following the issue of results and would first be considered by schools and colleges. Remember, last year there was that whole weird thing where they said we could appeal, but then they said we couldn't, and it was really confusing. Well, let's hope they improve on that. We do know that the earlier results is partially to help give more time for appeals to be settled, but the whole appeal process will have similar problems to the last one, where part of the issue was who knows the student's ability better than the teachers themselves. So that's where we are currently. Not a great position to be in. I had really hoped that they would have known what they were doing, since they've had since last August to plan for a situation like this. In fact, they had assured us they had. But as students, we're at their mercy. All we can do is just keep working and hope it's enough to win us the grades we deserve. So a question for you. How do you guys feel about these proposals? Have you got a good or bad feeling about these proposals and everything that's going on? Let me know down in the comments below. One thing they have said is that almost half of the 94,000 respondents to the consultation have been students, which is good. It's important that your voice is heard. 47,000 students might just be enough to get the change you want. Thanks for listening. Hopefully you're all staying safe and working hard. I myself better get back to work now. But before I head off, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and give us a like and check out the videos appearing on the screen now. Take care and we'll see you soon.